Today, I'm going to be talking about a new text-to-audio generation tool called AudioCraft. This tool is really amazing, and it has the potential to change the way we create and consume audio content. What is AudioCraft? AudioCraft is a text-to-audio generation tool that is developed by Meta AI, a division of Meta, formerly known as Facebook. AudioCraft consists of three models, MusicGen, AudioGen, and Encodec. MusicGen generates music from text prompts, while AudioGen generates audio from text prompts. Encodec is a learned, discrete audio representation that enables high-fidelity audio generation. AudioCraft is able to generate audio and music that are both realistic and diverse, and it is said to be more simple and flexible than previous text-to-audio generation tools. How does it work? AudioCraft first translates your text prompt into a mathematical equation that describes the audio you want. Then it uses a neural network to solve the equation and generate the audio. Finally, it compresses the audio file so that it can be stored and played back easily. It uses a technique called Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, GPT, to generate audio from text. GPT is a type of neural network that has been trained on a massive dataset of audio and music. This allows AudioCraft to generate realistic and engaging audio experiences. What are the benefits of AudioCraft? First, the tool is able to generate audio and music that are both realistic and diverse. This means that you can use the tool to generate audio and music for a variety of purposes, such as creating realistic sound effects for your videos or generating abstract music for your podcasts. Second, the tool is said to be more simple and flexible than previous text-to-audio generation tools. This means that you can use the tool with any text input, such as keywords, sentences, or paragraphs. You can also adjust the parameters of the tool, such as the temperature, length, and style of the generated audio and music. Third, the tool is available as an open source API. This means that anyone can use the tool to generate their own audio and music. Tutorial. Open the link in the description named as AudioCraft Demo. Now click on the first play button to install AudioCraft on your Colab notebook. Now click on the second play button to import the necessary libraries. Now click on the third play button to train the model. Write your taste inside the model. For example, you can write, generate a big room EDM track with crazy drops and heavy bass. Now click on the fourth play button to generate the audio. Let's listen to the results. What are the limitations of AudioCraft? First, it can be difficult to get AudioCraft to generate the exact audio you want. This is because AudioCraft is still learning to generate audio from text prompts, and it is not always perfect. Second, AudioCraft can be expensive to use. This is because it requires a lot of computing power to generate audio, comparison with other tools. Muber, Muber is a popular AI music generator that uses a technique called Markov chains to generate music. Markov chains are a type of probabilistic model that can be used to generate sequences of events. Muber is easy to use, but it does not generate as high-quality audio as AudioCraft. Soundful. Soundful is another popular AI music generator that uses a technique called Generative Adversarial Networks, GANs, to generate music. GANs are a type of neural network that can be used to generate realistic and engaging content. Soundful generates higher quality audio than Muber, but it is not as easy to use. Aiva. Aiva is an AI music composer that uses a technique called deep learning to generate music. Deep learning is a type of machine learning that can be used to learn complex patterns from data. Aiva generates the highest quality audio of any of the models mentioned here, but it is also the most expensive. AudioCraft is a very impressive text-to-audio generation tool. It has the potential to change the way we create and consume audio content, and it is sure to be used for a variety of purposes in the years to come. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos on technology and artificial intelligence.